For more on this pandemic, the rapid growth, plus all the myths, let me turn to Mohammad Munir, a virologist and lecturer of biomedicine at Lancaster University in the United Kingdom. Dr. Munir, thanks for joining us. There are so many questions I want to ask you. Um, there is so much myth, and we want to really dissect here fact versus fiction. President Trump uh, has expressed optimism about an anti malarial drug, saying it's been approved by the FDA. Uh, Dr. Fauci, um, who's on his task force, didn't seem to share that optimism. What do we know about this drug, and has it been approved by the FDA? I, th I don't think it has been approved by FDA uh, by now. However, uh, we do have a quite good understanding of this drug because we've been using this one uh, against malaria for a while. And this has a relatively uh, proven track record. So, the, and, and I have seen um, uh, one of the publication uh, from a credible sources that this uh, uh, um, uh, chloroquine, uh, which has one of the salt uh, relatively <clears throat> pardon me, relatively less, less toxic. So this called hydroxychloroquine. This is uh, proven to be very um, uh, good in, in inhibiting the virus um, in, in a tube. However, that is just the one step to take um, uh, forward and test in, in the first in the animal and then to the human to really demonstrate that it has antiviral activity. But that is not only just the one drug. There are uh, more than a dozen drugs that are being testing and being evaluated around the globe. So although this might not be a, a first reason to be optimistic, but I, I do believe that we will have antiviral become available a lot earlier than the vaccine would become available. I'm holding a pamphlet here um, from the World Health Organization, and it basically has all the things people need to know. For example, and let me ask you this question, does drinking water protect us against this virus? Well, uh, water is a very good commodity to keep drinking, but it won't protect you against uh, COVID-19. What about alcohol? No. What about holding your breath for 10 seconds without coughing? Is that some kind of barometer which is circling on social media? No. Warmer weather, sir? Warmer weather could potentially have uh, some impact on to the positivity positive outcome, mainly because of our knowledge on other seasonal diseases. Uh, however, since, as you know, that we haven't run through this disease throughout the season, um, which we really hope we wouldn't go through, so therefore we don't have a backlog history to really indicate that. But the chances are uh, that warmer weather or higher humidity would have impact, a positive impact onto this virus. Another source of concern appears to be how long this virus can last in the air or on the surfaces around us? Uh, the, the time that this virus can stay onto the surfaces depend on two factors. First is the humidity, and other is the temperature. So at the room temperature, it can su sustain onto the surfaces for uh, up to three days. And uh, it, that depends also onto the surface itself. For instance, it can s stay up to 24 hours onto the cardboard and relatively less time onto the glassware and the plasticware. So this variability is, of course, confusing, but it is a complex depending on the surface, depending on the humidity and the temperature. So besides washing our hands constantly with soap and warm water for 20 seconds and disinfecting our surroundings, what other advice do you have for all these people out there around the world uh, who are binded by this one epid pandemic, I should say, and are genuinely worried? I think uh, the only thing at this moment, to be honest, after personal hygiene we could do is to avoid the contact with the most vulnerable community. Um, that we already uh, have quite good understanding, people with underlying causes or people with um, elderly or frail conditions. Uh, because uh, other than this one, we can't really do anything because we have passed too deep into this pandemic that uh, just a small practice wouldn't really help because, for example, if you take an example of uh, many European countries here, including UK, a fair proportion of the public is already infected with this virus, so just a tiny bit difference wouldn't really make a big difference. The only thing I would uh, caution, make a caution for, uh, based on my virological knowledge, is the only thing we can do at this moment to, is to protect our vulnerable and the elderly people. And social distancing, of course, plays a vital role in all of this. Mohammad Monir, thank you so much.